He put his finger up to my face and said, you don't know who you're f***ing with. And I look back at him and I go, oh, really? You don't know who you're f***ing with. But if I was going to get on this girl's nerves, I called her that. It upset her and took her out of the game. Do you think it's rigged then? Do you think it doesn't matter how good you are necessarily at cooking? It's more about the story slash entertainment value? Courtney, Courtney, on the other hand, was a professional stripper. Let's not let's not <laughs> pretend here. Tell me it's rigged, Leslie. Like, did you actually put salt in your uh, little cake thing there? Okay, here we go. What's that video call? I'm doing it right now. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Leslie. It's me, baby. In the flesh. The uh, fox. <laughs> We, we were literally just watching, uh, you've got compilation videos on YouTube. Yes, I know. I'm a big celebrity. <laughs> Not really. No, you literally, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, dude. Like right now, I'm fr I'm freaking out because um, I, we only just watched the MasterChef season. And in my mind, it happened like, you know, just a few days ago. So it's kind of surreal to just, you know, I'm talking to the silver fox in the flesh. Well, you know what? Hey, listen, if you make an effort, I'm willing to I'm willing to make an effort back. The biggest problem is people don't make an effort, so I don't say much. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I mean, dude, okay, just let me let me get this. Let me just tell uh so I'll tell the audience in chat. Okay, so Leslie went out of his way, okay, cuz we hit him up on uh, Cameo, which is like obviously you do you didn't have to do any of this. You could have just been like, "Nah, I'm good, bro." Like, you just, you know. And uh you went out of your way, figured out what Discord was. Uh, downloaded it, set up an account, and uh, I mean, do you even do you even know what Twitch is? No, I do not. I I leave all that up to my kids. I'm I'm a, I'm a fairly busy man. My wife and I own a, a bunch of a co production companies. I don't know if you saw our movies on Lifetime, uh, Missile, uh, Mistletoe in Mont. No, uh, what was it? Uh, Mistletoe in Montana. And uh, with Melissa Joan Hart and uh, and then uh, the other one with uh, Reba McIntyre. I think the, it, that, that's the one, Mistletoe in Montana. Every, I mean, uh, Mistletoe. Everyone is, everyone is pogging out, which means they're really excited. So, they, I mean, it sounds like they've heard of it. I'm, wait, isn't your, one of your daughters literally uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch? That, well, they implied that in one of the no. episodes? She's not my daughter. I, I married my wife with five children. Don't ask me why. Shoot me now. That's big dick. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't go that far. But uh, <laughs> we, we have two biological children together. So my wife has seven children. She had five children from a previous marriage. And I married her uh, with five kids. I was a single guy in Manhattan, minded my own business. She asked me to dance, and the rest is history. I mean, dude, I... I I have three kids, okay, and I don't even. I have no idea how you could possibly micromanage seven to do any like to to, do, to achieve even a single goal of just like getting out of the house. Like, I mean, how you even get them in the car and uh, you know keep them under control? It's very easy. I'm one of eleven, and I'm the middle child. I have five older and five younger. Yeah, my mother. My mother was a nun before she got married, but she didn't believe in none of this and none of that. She did a lot of everything. <laughs> And she almost had 12 kids. So uh, my mother's a saint in my eyes. And uh, I mean, that's when I married that is, that is crazy. When I married my, when I married my wife, my, my, the, the, my five stepchildren thought they'd play games on me. But I said, I did that long before you were born because I knew everything. Because I had plenty of practice. The silver fox. Okay. Uh, well, so I'll, I'll quickly explain to you what Twitch is. So basically, right now I'm uh, with, you're you're effectively on a live stream, and um, everyone's reacting. They're all basically calling you a Giga Chad right now. I don't, I don't know. If, have you heard of the, what a Giga Chad is? No. Do you, have you heard about what a Chad is? Like Chad, Chad and Stacey? Yes, I've heard, I've heard of chats. Yes. Okay, so now imagine a Chad, but like I mean, I can just show you actually. It's like you're like an ultra. Okay. Okay. Let me let me let me let me know if you can actually see. Yeah, I, I can see part of it. Wait, let me let me let me zoom in here. Let me zoom in here. Let okay. Oh. Yeah, I see it. Oh 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 oh. And basically, what this is right here. What well, this is right here. Uh, this is Twitch chat. Um. 
<laughs> As you can see, so, so right now they're at work. Okay, they're cringing at me saying I'm super cringe because I, I literally am. So just so you know, uh, in advance, I'm ultra socially awkward. Uh, like I, I'm, I'm the opposite of having finesse in conversations. So there will definitely be lots of uh, awkward uh, pauses and, you know, you'll, you might even physically cringe at me at some point. Uh, but, you know, they're basically they're spamming. Uh, uh, let's just say it's memes. Uh, so dicks is basically a meme. They're not like obsessed with dicks or something. That's they're just joking around. But uh, uh, yeah, so these guys are watching the conversation right here, and th there you are on Excellent. my screen. Yeah. And anyway, they've submitted questions, uh, and I've also got some of my own questions. Uh, like uh, you know, like a because there's a lot. You know, <laughs> what you want to know, like Master Chef. Uh, what's going on with uh, some of the stuff? So NDAs. Elizabeth obviously had a, uh, let me just zoom this out again. Elizabeth, obviously, uh, she made an article uh, talking about her NDA saying, uh, like, oh, yeah, uh, what's the exact words she said? Something like, she's not supposed to, but she can uh, talk yeah. about stuff. I, I read the article again. I read it when it first came out, and I read it again. I don't know how much truth there is to that, and I don't know what legal trouble she may have gotten into. But Gordon Ramsay's a very powerful individual and Shine America, which is a, a huge production company worldwide, okay, yeah. which produces Master Chef worldwide. I ain't messing with them. They got more money than me. They got more lawyers than me. I mean, I have a lawyer, but he's a little guy. Nice yeah. little Jewish. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I'm actually 12% Jew. Uh, believe, yeah, okay. So, so, so my, my wife's part Jewish too. So I, I think we all have some Jew in us if you go back to Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, these large corporations, um, I, so again, going back to Twitch, we've, you know, everyone has been effectively just sitting here and watching MasterChef. And we, I mean, nobody technically, um, how do I put this? Nobody, nobody technically has the the rights or anything to to watch it. But like, I mean, I, I mean, I watched the entirety of your season and the season before yours. Um, okay. You know, I mean, to be fair, in 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 the grand scheme of things, you know, like maybe you know, ten thousand people concurrently watching a show is not really that much. But there's like, I mean, there's even larger people. Do you know? You know that um, the meme you did on your cameo just the other day, uh, talking about some guy with a big nose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that guy, that guy was watching MasterChef in its entirety, uh, like the whole season. Well, I don't know if he's finished finished it yet. With to like one hundred and twenty thousand people, right? Like, no way. It's a it's a resurgence, which I'm surprised. I mean, yeah, like I'm surprised you haven't been getting hit up more almost because of how popular MasterChef is, and even these older seasons, are, like, how how insane. Like people love that shit. Well, I've been I've been getting followers lately, like a uh, hundred every three to four weeks, and then all of a sudden it started exploding. And I mean, I literally got like three hundred followers, four hundred followers in the past five days. Yeah. So I want to thank you for that. I, I mean, that, you know, the populations have have helped. You need to start you know, tweeting out some bangers, Leslie. Some Silver Fox bangers, because uh, you know, like just start start doing some Giga Chad shit. You know, some of the stuff doing a show. I, listen, if you show me how to do it, and we can make money at it. I'm, I'm in. You know, I'm. I listen, I got seven kids. I got ten grandkids. They're all asking for money. You know, <laughs> oh, I, Jesus. I, I have a wife that has lots of needs. You know? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know how you make money from it necessarily, but you, I mean, don't get me wrong. Anyone can be. You can't monetize any audience, right? And there are people interested in MasterChef. And I don't. Yeah, it's one of those things. But I don't. You just have to start posting like. Just, whatever, whatever I, what are influencers post? Uh, I'm not, I'm not a good example though, because I'm like the social. Uh, when it comes to like everyone doing like you know real life stuff, posting about their life and doing all that stuff, I don't do any of that. I, I, I sit inside my my we call it a cuck shit, and I just play computer games and and react to YouTube videos. Yeah, but but what what what's the purpose of you doing this? I mean, is there some financial gain or just followers or? Why, 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 why are we here? I mean, it's just, it's an awesome experience for me and the viewers. Uh, and well, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just cool. Just me have to, I mean, we watched the, all of MasterChef. Everyone was like, they love Leslie. And then we're like, oh shit. Uh, there's, there's, he's got a cameo account. I wonder if we can contact him. Like, let's just see if we can talk and ask him some questions about MasterChef. You know, like, uh, but I mean, 
Yeah, everyone's in chat saying "quote unquote" content, which I guess this technically is. I mean, people are just genuinely interested to you know see what's going on. Yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, I'm I'm living my life that I led before I I went on Master Chef. Like I said, my wife and I own a production own a bunch of production companies. So I'm not really a stay at home dad. I'm not really a house bitch, and I'm and yes, I'm still an I'm still a beautician. I'm a licensed hairdresser what? out of the state of New York. A beautician. Yes. Well, well, I, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Okay, but 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 when Cutter called me a stay at home dad, ex beautician. <laughs> Flash house bitch on national TV. <laughs> I mean, you know, but he made my day because every woman that stays home, you know, just loved me after that. Because, you know, I I am one, I'm not a house bitch. But you know Wait, what? So if that, were you if ever were you ever a, a stay at home dad, I guess? Or were they just pushing that narrative like super hard? Cause because I mean they they really insinuated that at the beginning. Like they they really pushed uh, you know, they all, I, they, 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 you have to go in with a, with a story of what you do. Okay. And yes, am I a house dad? Do I stay home with my children? Show me a dad who does not show you a dad who's an absent father. But at the yeah. end of the day, yes, I spend time with my children. Yes. I, there are times I can work from home. I don't need to go to, I don't, we, we have offices when we're, when, when we're in production at, at specific, specific studios, OK, like when we did Sabrina, we, we would have offices at Paramount. We would have offices at CBS Radford. We would wherever. OK, wherever we're, we're, we're filming. Same with when we go into production for our Christmas movies or our movies for, in Vancouver. We, we, we set up production offices. So I am not home. You know, yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not. You're a business owner, thumb, right? Thumb up going, you know what? Hey, you know, I. Uh, Look at look at me. I'm I'm a house bitch. My wife takes care of me. No, my wife and I take care of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's what it, to me to me any smart man who doesn't take care of his wife is in trouble. So wait, was that what's okay in terms of like the whole cut of me? Because I I don't understand. Uh, I guess well I, I can use an example here. Whenever I watched the Master Chef uh, season, that was season season five, was it right? Like with you, um, I thought Corny was awful. I I absolutely. I was like, "Fuck Courtney!" Like, because they 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 made all these clips to make her look like a massive bitch, basically. And they had they they keep posting like scowls and her like you know rolling her eyes whenever something happened. And I and I was really triggered. I was like, "Oh my fucking god!" Like, dude, they had shit. They would like do shots and just zoom in on her high heels. Like, ever I mean, yeah. um, those and- those are uh, what do you call it? Christian Christian Laboutons. They're about uh, fifty. <laughs> Hundred dollar shoes, and uh, you know, listen, I, 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 I don't know Courtney that well. Just like Courtney doesn't know me that well, so I don't, I don't want to make any assumptions. But what I've seen of her on the internet before she went on MasterChef, that should speak volumes. Yeah, yeah, you know. So I mean, if if you did any his background check on Courtney, you'd see what she did for a living before. And you want to know what we all, we all, we all do things in life that that sometimes we regret. You know, but that's 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 part of the adventure of life. You know, sometimes yeah. you hit it right, sometimes you screw it up. Well, I guess my point was that okay, so in the show they made her out to be some really mean bitchy person, and then we the cameo reply uh, we got effectively. I'm oh, sorry, I'm getting interrupted. Uh, so the cameo reply we got from her, she seemed like the nicest person ever, and it was like the complete opposite of what had been portrayed in the show. And I was thinking, wait. Maybe Cutter isn't like mentally deficient and just annoying, like like toxic person who's just like because I whenever like uh, you and Cutter were beefing, I was like fuck you, Cutter. You know we're like everyone was sitting there. Um, I mean we're basically on your side, getting really angry. And I was thinking, wait, was this just fake? Like, do you what's what's your take on Cutter? Do you, was it actual genuine uh, beef or no? No, what you thought? It- it was an actual genuine beef, okay? Cutter and I didn't see eye to eye from the beginning because for whatever reason, I, I don't judge people, especially people I don't know, okay? I, I mean, for me to form an opinion, it takes more than three months on a TV show. Yeah. So I'm not judging any of them. I don't know them that well, so I'm not going to make any, any, any definite statement and go, yes, he's that way. The way he treated me is I felt bullied. I felt threatened at some times because... At one point, which they didn't show, he put his finger up to my face and said, you don't know who you're fucking with. 
And I look back at him and I go, oh, really? <laughs> you don't know who you're fucking with. Okay? Because like, like I said, I have so Wait, with the cameras not on? With, with the cameras on, I don't know if they just cut that. I don't know what they did. There are a number of things that a number of things that happened that end, ended up on the cutting floor. But you know, it it is it is. I mean, it, it's edited for a reason. You know, I, I mean, they they want they only have a certain limit, a certain amount of time to 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 to, to present the show, and they're going to take the juice and certain things. You know, they're not going to you know uh, uh, edit. They'll edit out. So mm. I'm like, you know, listen, I don't care. He's he doesn't bother me. He doesn't affect me. He's not making put money in my pocket, a roof over my head, clothes on my back, or food in my mouth. So I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, that's totally relatable. Well, the 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 arc that they portray of you initially was like you're this uh, the person that was super annoying and talked too much, stay at home dad. And then as it went on, everyone started to like you. You 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 started popping off, destroying every pressure you know uh, challenge. And it turned to the point where it was like, oh, damn, like, Leslie, like, I mean, you know, he's got a really good chance of winning this. And then I was like, wait, should Leslie is so successful in real life and he's like, so like, should he even win? Um, because, of, I mean, because that was a legitimate question they posed, right? Like, do, do, you, do you deserve to win this because of the fact that you're already like kind of well, no, they, they said to me, do you need the money? And I go, you're absolutely right. I don't need the money. And if I was to win... Okay, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I was orphaned at the age of 10 to 19. I was in an orphanage, okay, called the Lieutenant Joseph P. Kennedy Home for Children in the Bronx. All right, and I said what I'd do with the money. They asked me what I would do with the money, and I said half of it would go to an orphanage, and the other half would pay for my two children's college. I don't need the money. It wasn't about the money. It was about the challenge. It was about a chance to try something new, get out of my comfort zone, and hopefully, you know, maybe it'll even open up a restaurant. I found out later on, I don't talk to my father much. I haven't spoken to my father since I was uh, in my 30s. The last time I saw him, he's never been much of a father. But I found out he was a short order cook. And on my birth certificate, it says he's a restaurateur. Now, my father never taught me shit. So I really don't care about the guy, you know. So and, and that's just my personal I feeling. Want- the man is still alive. I don't speak to him. That's his choice, not mine, because I've tried on numerous occasions to speak with my dad. But if he doesn't want to meet his grandchildren, that's his problem. Let him rest in peace. But getting back to Master Chef, I mean, I, I, I didn't have to be there, but I, I never in the beginning of the show, when Elizabeth says to me, when Gordon says to, to Elizabeth, who do you think should go home? And she goes, I think Leslie should go home. Yeah, we and just he says, that. because he lives in Malibu. You know what? Anybody, you can live in Malibu. You want to live in Malibu? Go to a bank, get a loan, pay your monthly mortgage, pay your taxes, and, and you can live in Malibu. It's, it's not a secret. It's not some special place for just wealthy people. Anybody can live here. True. You know, but you got you to gotta, you gotta pay that in monthly nut. And if I, I can't help it if I'm smart enough to pay the nut. <laughs> And I pay a lot of nuts. I pay the government, which is a big nut. <laughs> <laughs> and I pay my I pay with the town of Malibu, which is another nut, you know. But I, I'm giving all these squirrels all my nuts. So, you know, I don't have a lot of nuts. <laughs> That's a lot of nuts. Okay. Yeah. Um, so speaking of uh, Elizabeth and, you know, the other kids, so do you, uh, are you in contact with anyone still from the show? Yes. I every once in a while, uh, well, I don't really talk to Elizabeth personally. I t- I I, I uh, like some of her stuff on on Instagram. I her, her her husband is a very nice guy. We 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 don't we 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 exchange you know uh, chats every once in a while. Like hey, how you doing or whatever. Happy birthday, you know, just you know, nice niceties. You know, I, I'm not going out of my way for her. She's not going out of her way for me. And, you know, life goes on. I have spoken with Iran. It's not Iran. It's Iran. And I knew that from day one. But if I was going to get on this girl's nerves, <laughs> I called her that. It upset her and took her out of the game. See, si- I played a big psychological game on that a lot is, of these people. That is okay, they good. said I talked to 
They said I talked too much, but I never spoke a word to any of these people ever. But I was talking to two other people that were contestants that were in the top 30 that that went into the Master Chef kitchen. Okay? And I became friends with them because they were polite and nice. I have no reason to disrespect anybody ever yeah. unless you disrespect me first. I don't need to be around negative people. I don't need to be around people who are depressed or, or, or whatever their problems are unless they want my help. Then you're polite to me. I talk to you. I have no problem talking to anybody. But I'm not going to stand there and be verbally abused and accused of things that I've never said, okay, and, and, and not defend myself. I got the shit kicked out of me being when I was a young kid quite a bit. So I had a big mouth and fast feet. So if, if, if I was going to open my mouth, I had to run real fast to get away from the big goons that were chasing me. Well, uh, okay? spe speaking of Iran, uh, so it felt like some people were really trying to make something out of nothing between you and Iran at the beginning. Uh, what, what, like, were the producers sitting there, like, egging people on to, and like, to try and make it more dramatized, or was that just completely, uh, just genuine situation? They did that whole challenge on the it, beach where, like, she like broke down and was crying. Both, both situations were genuine. Okay, there was, uh, there was the only, the only times they they asked you to say certain things a certain way was during the confessionals. Ah. You know, show and you're sitting there and, and, and you're saying, well, say it this way, you know, or, or put this word in there. Because, you know, I'm not I'm not a reality star per se. You know, that's not what I do for a living. And, and, and it, it wasn't my intention. This all started, <laughs> believe it or not. My, my wife said, you could be on Master Chef, but you'll never win it. Because you're not you're not the demographic. You'll you'll get you'll get real far because you're a character, but you'll never win it. And she was right. Do you she think, was absolutely so do you, right. Do you, think and it's, I, do you think it's rigged then? Do you think it doesn't matter how good you are necessarily at cooking? It's more about the story slash entertainment value. Um, the cooking is part of it because you got You got to got to put up a shut up. You know, as, as I would like to say. You know, you either got to put it on the plate in, in the end. Or otherwise, people are going to see through it, you know, or, or they'll create some some something else about why you why you have to go home. But, you know, I just you know, I just I just did what I had to do. And if I, I said, what are they going to do? Send me back to Malibu? You know, <laughs> I mean, it was like, gee whiz, you know, I mean, shit, I got to go back to my crappy apartment in Manhattan. I did have a crappy apartment in Manhattan when I first lived there, you know. But, uh, you know, it, that was not the case. So, it, it, and, and I looked at it this way. I had three months, no wife, no kids, and I got to beat up on a bunch of other people I didn't know. I mean, that to me was priceless. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so, so if you think it was, I mean, not necessarily rigged, but, like, you think it was like, okay, you're not the demographic to win, who, who do you think genuinely should have won? Like the Masha, um, if if not Corny. Uh, I I definitely would have thought Elizabeth. Elizabeth is an excellent cook, no questions asked. Okay, I just think in in the finale when I watched it, I I just think she 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 just it it just got to her. Courtney Courtney on the other hand was a professional stripper. Let's not let's not <laughs> pretend here. Okay, she's a professional stripper. Yeah, that's a and, job. Okay, she's used to being in very, very, you know, difficult situations, especially male situations. So or, or on a stage with a lot of people cheering her on. So she's I think I think she personally enjoyed that, you know, because she was in her element. Yeah. You know, where Elizabeth and myself, that's that's not what 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 we did, did, did do for a living or, or have, have had that opportunity to be in, in front of an audience where you don't feel that you know, stage fright, because, you know, every once in a while, you still like, I got to a point, I got to a point where I just, I had to just get it done, you know? So. Mm. So a more serious question. Um, do you think you would have won if you had been wearing high heels? Um, nah, I, I, I've been in drag before, but not, not, not for this occasion. <laughs> You know, and they and they and they would have to be definitely uh, what do you call it, uh, La Boutons, if if red sold and all, you know. And I I would want at least six inches of heel. 
Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to f- uh, spit fires for some questions here. Um, so what's your opinion? What what do you think about Gio? Well, we were calling him Baldy here. But what's your what's your take on Gio? Joe Joe Bastianich? Yeah. Uh he's a real nice guy. He's uh he's a businessman. Um I had no problems with him. None whatsoever. He's uh you know he he came at me a couple of times like there's no salt in my food. You know, and, and and things that I can remember, but you know, he's just pointing things out to me to help me improve my game. So I'm not, you know, when when somebody's a teacher, I I tend to listen, keep my mouth shut, my head down, and pay attention. And he was he was that. He was a nice guy. I have I had no problems with him. See, to me, I had no were, problems with any. When we when we were watching, I guess I, I guess watching from as just like a you know purely just purely speculation, we would see Joe. And he, I mean, obviously he has a massive ego. And then if anyone didn't immediately agree with him or, you know, second they challenged them. Okay, like, for example, Cutter also had a massive ego. And then they would instantly, they would, it would become volatile. So, but you didn't yeah. hear that. Oh, yeah, I knew. I mean, you know, listen, it, it, it's TV. They got to create some drama, I would think. You know, I'm not speaking from their, from their point of view because I wasn't a judge. But if, you know, they, they got to make the show exciting or otherwise it's a bunch of cooks co- cooking some boring stuff at the end of the day. True. And and I, I I find it hard to watch MasterChef now because it's too nice. You know, it's a, it's a competition for $250,000. This is not about being nice. It's about winning. 100%. I haven't seen it in the new ones. So, I mean, because I've seen season four and season five and that's it. So, yeah. Yeah, I, well, I, I, I've seen season for season five, I watched season six because because I wanted to see where it was going and, and if they were going to continue the same storyline as five, which they didn't. And then I watched season seven and I turned it off because I got bored. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, I got bored. Another question here. Um, this is this is quite a deep question, so I don't know if you guys should be able to, uh, to truly answer this one. Uh, what does the word uh, so elevated mean? What? What does the word elevated mean? Elevated? Just bring it up to the next level. Bring it up to the next level. So yeah, I, if, if you're cooking something, see, I when I cook, I cook for my family. You know, so my plating skills sucked. I never worked in a restaurant. Okay, my family was never in the restaurant business except for that I found out my father was a, a, a short order cook. In other words, he made freaking eggs and, and bacon and when, when when he was younger. Okay, um, and uh, I just don't, you know, they, they want you to bring it up to the next level. You know, if you put a chicken, a, a chicken leg on a plate or, or a chicken wing on a plate, it better be look, it better taste good. It better have a nice sauce. It better have good seasoning. That's elevating it, you know, so. Okay. 100%. I mean, yeah, I thought it was kind and of bullshit. Put it on, nice. Yeah, I thought it was kind of bullshit. Whenever you you elevated one of your plates with some herbs, and and Gordon, uh, he literally just grabbed your herbs and was just like, "What are these?" But I was like, "Yeah, I, it's clearly elevated." <laughs> yes, I've 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 seen it. I, I've seen some of his stuff that he puts on 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 his uh, restaurants, and he he did the same thing. But I I I, I didn't pull his 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 parsley off of his plate, so I kind of <laughs> left it alone. It is what it is. Listen, I'd love to continue this, but I got, I, I, I'm, I got, it, it's the holidays and I got to oh, get yo. moving. Not nah, fair enough. Fair enough, Leslie. Oh, thank you so much for going out of your way. Cause obviously you didn't need to do this. Wait, can I ask you one last question? Can I? Yes. Just one. Okay. So, uh, on your Instagram, you posted a, uh, a thing called the sweet impact and you were basically showing how sugar, um, you know, changes the way that, uh, at, you know, baking functions, and like when there's no sugar, yes. it's flat, and when there's uh, you know lots of sugar, it's like fluffy. And then, yes, I mean, how can you possibly mix up sugar and salt? Like, was like, tell me it's rigged, Leslie. Like, did you actually put salt in your uh, little cake thing there? To this day, to this day, I still don't know, and I mean that honestly. I'm not saying it because I don't want to answer it. But when I tasted the cake, the cake tasted fine to me. Because as people said, if you mistake salt sugar in a cake, the first thing you're going to do is spit it out. And it makes sense to me. I've never made that mistake because I'm not a baker. 
Okay, I just happened to, to do my shit right that day because my wife and kids bake all they kicked me out of the kitchen. I got I got six daughters plus my wife. That's seven women in the kitchen. I don't go near the kitchen when they're in there because I'm, I'd, I'd get verbally I'd be verbally abused and get my ass kicked. So when they're baking, I stay out of the kitchen. So the sugar and the salt, I, 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 I it was stolen. Right. Tasted the cake. The cake tasted fine to me. But in the end, the rules are of master of the Master Chef Kitchen is the judges have the final say, and when they say it, that that's it. You're done. So they said, yeah, you got salt. You know, I mean, when I when I look at 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 at, at that part of the competition, okay, and Courtney's cake is her her uh, Boston cream is sliding all over the place, but they didn't pick that out. I mean, come on, if you're gonna go tit for tat. You know, her, her her Grenache looked like shit. You know, I mean, come on. At the end of the day, I thought my cake looked 100% better than hers. And who the hell tastes, tastes salt on a TV? No one. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. And I, it's 100%. And those, uh, you know, pressure tests, they always did. We, we were calling it, uh, it became a meme. It was like one-to-one because they'd always say, oh, this one is good. And then they go to the other person and say, that one's good. And they'd always make it balanced. So it's hinging on this, you know, like this final say. And then they just kind of make up their mind who wins. Like, and and I don't know. Personally, I think you should have won Master Chef, Leslie. Thank you so much for coming hey, on. I, hey, you know what? I I didn't win I didn't win the money, but I, I tell you, I would have gave Elizabeth a run for her money because she would have crapped her pants if I would have won that, that, that pressure test. <laughs> All right. Because she... She she was like, I think he might. She, you saw her in the end. I think he might have this. And and Courtney looked like she lost because she knew her cake. My 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 Boston cream pie looked a hell of a lot. She won 100%. the cheesecake. Cheesecake. My my key lime pie was better than hers, and my Boston cream pie to me looked a hundred percent better than hers. So you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's it's eight years ago. I have since moved on. I love Gordon. I love Graham. I love Joe. I love Master Chef. They've been very good to me. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so I'm I'm not gonna bad mouth them per se, you know, because I have no real reason to. I have since moved on. You know, you get sometimes you got to pull up your big boy pants and move on. So with that said, I have to move on. It was a pleasure talking with you. I, I appreciate all the new fans I'm getting from you guys. You guys are terrific. My fans mean everything to me. I'm not making any money on, on my fandom yet. <laughs> yet. Okay, thank you so much, Leslie. Yeah. Have a good, so uh, listen, have a good holiday, man. No one anybody who wants to buy Silver Fox oysters <laughs> in New Zealand or around the world, we ship everywhere. Just go to Blue Island Oyster Company and, and, and order Silver Fox oysters. Simply the best. Link it in chat. They are simply the best. Silver right. Fox oysters. Remember that. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right. See you later. Thank you so much, Silver Thank Fox. You. Peace. Thank you. All right. Okay. There it is. Oh, that went pretty well. Where's the, where's the Silver Fox oysters? Where's this at? Is this it right here? Where, where are they at? Where's the oysters? Look, get, get the link, boys. Get the link. That went pretty fucking good, I think. I think that could have easily gone bad. Uh, yeah, that was some good shit. That was, yeah. Um, the Silver Fox Oasis. Is this real? Wait, wait, wait. Get the actual link. Get the actual link. Okay, I don't think that's real. I don't think that's real. I think that, wait, this one right here, right? Blue Island Oyster Bar and Seafood. Cherry Creek. Yo, guys, if you want to, if you want to get, uh, if you want to get oysters, if you want to get oysters, order now. If you want to get oysters. Oh, shit. Unable to load restaurant page. Assistant, uh, assistant having an issue loading the restaurant page right now. Are you guys doxing his website right now, dude? Are you guys doxing his fucking website right now? Oh, okay, don't dox his website, but there's his website. There you go. Well, I'll link his uh, Twitter as well, so that way you can at least, you know, where's, where's, where's Leslie's Twitter at as well? We'll link that. Uh, everyone, everyone follow his... Uh, this is Leslie's Twitter. I, I, assume he, I assume he might tweet something out. There's a good chance he'll tweet something out. I mean, if a bunch of people follow him, right, there's a good chance he'll tweet something out, like maybe some silver fox, like he'll send it a message. Wrong site? Are we sending the wrong site? That's his Twitter handle. That I know that's his Twitter. That's his literal Twitter handle. So if you follow that, guys, 
Uh, if you, you know. We're not doxing, chat. Jesus. So he, he does use Twitter because I that's how I com that's how I communicate it with him on Twitter. That's how that's how I, he doesn't even dude, he doesn't even follow me back, homie. He doesn't even follow me back. He literally doesn't even follow me back. <laughs> that's Giga Chat. <laughs> he, he, he literally doesn't even follow me back, dude. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, wait. So we're linking some random thing. No, this is Instagram. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. If I was logged into Instagram, I would like this shit easily. Uh, control C. There we go. Bro, that was so rigged. Right? Can we just be real? Like, 100%. Like, he straight up said, like, it was rigged. Like, he can't pretty much more say that it's more rigged. Like, that 100%, they just made their mind up and like, ah, we're just going to make some epic twist here and we'll just pretend there's salt in there. Right? We'll just, we'll just, uh, you know. He said it tastes... There is no fucking shot. There is no fucking shot uh, that you would not realize. Um, like, salt. You're going to taste salt. He should have taken some home with him, bro, and frozen it. Uh, obviously, in hindsight, right? In hindsight, it's it's pretty easy to say that, but yeah. Gordon Salt one's just released. Gordon Ramsay. Do we really want to? But do I really want to watch Gordon Ramsay's hot ones whenever he's fucking, like, you know, rigging his show, dude? There we go, dude. There we go. Oh, yo, you guys followed? You guys followed Leslie? There it is, dude. All right. Business Silver Fox. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's definitely it, right? Silver Fox Oysters. There it is. There it is. Silver Fox Oysters. Five stars. Three reviews. Message now. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Facebook, guys. I mean, dude, he's out there doing stuff, all right, chat? It's fucking poggies, okay? He's out there doing stuff. It's fucking poggies. Uh... Uh Why were you guys saying I interrupted him, dude? I was trying to keep uh, I was trying to keep the conversation flowing, but then it was impossible to like not interrupt him at some points. Okay, cuz he would kind of like get to a point where he's like looping and then I needed to change this conversation. Okay. All right. I I was rewatch it. Am I was it really bad like usual? Um, felt conversation it was all seven. Yes, yeah, fine. Okay, all right, all right. Well, you know, I tried. Link on some clips. Leslie was a natural. Oh, 100%, dude. 100%. The Twitch lingo. The Twitch lingo. You can see him get pissed when you interrupt him. Real far because you're a character, but you'll never win it. And she was right. Do you she think, was absolutely so, do you, right. Do you, think I, it's, do you think it's rigged then? Do you think it doesn't matter how good you are necessarily at cooking? It's more about the story slash entertainment value. He's not good. Dude, that's his face. That's his face. It was a natural segue. <laughs> he was, but that's his face. Dude, he's not pissed. That's his face, dude. That's his fucking face. He's mad as fuck. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, dude. He wants to punch you, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, we had finite time, and we had, like, okay, we got through, like, what? How many questions? Maybe half? If I, it, he hates you, self folks does not hate me. Okay, do not say that. He does not hate me. He thinks you're a cutter? Oh my god. Oh my god. Cut his mouth. Dude. Whatever, dude. Okay, it's. I'll be real, chat. In real life, there's no delay. So you can you can make a hand gesture and then you can start saying something. And then it's in a natural point to segue off a point. 
when you're doing it on Discord, there's delay. You know, there's delay. Okay, let's be real. There's delay, and it makes it more awkward. And it's like you kind of just have to like go with it. You're right. Okay, and that's what I'm. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, chat. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not. You make it sound like it's some obvious like thing that like you know it's like really easy, but like. How else do you change the conversation outside of interrupting someone at some point if they're talking for quite a while? Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, tweet out and thank the Silver Fox. Okay, all right. Um, I mean, what do I even say? Wait, shout out to Leslie, dude. Shout out to Leslie for like, I mean, I don't even, what do I even say? Uh, shout out to Leslie. For going out of his, aka the silver fox, for going out of his way and coming. Wait, I don't know, dude. I, cringe. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Buy buy his oysters or something. Insta, please. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what. Instability, you just write a th fucking thing, and I'll just control C and control V it, dude, okay? I'll d you just write the thing, and I'll control C and control V it. Like, realistically, dude. Uh, do you know what a pain champ is? You heard about what a chat is? Like, Chad? Chad and Stacey? Yes, I've heard, I've heard of chats, yes. Okay, so now imagine a Chad, but, like, I mean, I can just show you, actually. It's like, you're like an ultra. Okay. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me know if you can actually see. Yeah, I, I can see part of it. Wait, let me let me let me zoom in here. Let me zoom in here. Let okay. Oh. <laughs> I was showing you a pain jam. I was showing you a pain jam, dude. Oh no. I was yeah, to... I see it. Oh 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 oh. Oh, dude. Oh no. Oh no. I could do. I could barely see what I was zooming at, bro. Oh my god, he thinks it was a pain champ? Like, they think you're a pain champ, dude? Like, some debris? <laughs> oh yeah, Chet thinks you're a... <laughs> you're... <laughs> because he is... God damn, damn, god damn.